Hey guys, nice to see you guys again. Hope you guys are doing well. Today I want to talk about rope fish. Some people may not even know what rope fish is. So some people watch those videos about the rope fish in this channel. They were excited. They were like, I want to get one. It looks so cool. But before you actually buy a rope fish, I want you to watch this video. This might be helpful to you to make a decision because for me, there are a lot of pros and also there are a lot of cons. I would say probably more cons than pros about rope fish. So first, what is rope fish? Well, rope fish is this kind of snake, a combination of snake and the eel. And uh, me personally, I think it looks like a Chinese dragon. It's a really unique kind of fish. It's pretty ancient. It's still fish. I think it has both long and gill. Maybe I'm wrong. I think they're originally from Africa. Some people might want to know about the parameters in the tank if you want to keep them. I actually, based on my experience, all these, these fish you can get from fish stores, I think all of them, most of them, are bred in captivity. So, I mean, your tank water is probably not too different from the water in the fish store. So as long as the numbers are not too off the chart, you'll be fine. At least I didn't do anything special in the tank to change anything, the pH, the temperature, just average. So of course, I want to talk about the pros first. And of course, look at them. The first pro is they look cool. They're rare. You don't see them often in people's fish tank. And uh, they make you look like a pro fish keeper. They have these unique uh, body structures and uh, they're just special. And they're so cute, especially when they eat like this. Well, I have two rope fish in a 55, one big, one small. Actually, the small one was a bad deal. I paid $55 and for the big one, I only paid 60. So I was being stupid. That's the second pro. They're not too expensive and they look cool. They look expensive. That's what I'm trying to say. And I would say the third pro is that they're in general pretty peaceful. You can keep them with other community fish. They get along with uh, at least the cichlids I have in the 55, the three big uh, South American cichlids. I never see them fight each other, but definitely don't keep them with, you know, smaller fish like neon tetras. I have had, uh, you know, quarry cats. I also had a zebra daniel, full size zebra daniel. They were fine with the rope fish. At least the rope fish didn't try to eat them. And uh, those are pretty much all the pros of rope fish. Basically, they look cool. They make you look cool. You can keep them with other fish, even though they look like they don't get along with other fish. Next, it's about the cons. Where do I start? So first, they're peaceful, as I said. They do get along with my uh, cichlids. But uh, things like these can also happen, especially when you have two rope fish and uh, one of them is smaller. But don't worry, I've checked. Both of them are fine. So again, they are peaceful, but if the food can fit in their mouth, they will eat it. Either it's food or other smaller fish. Second con, which I personally think is also the worst, which is also why I don't encourage people to get them. They pretty much hide all day. Um, when I feed them, they may come out a little bit, swim around, wander around. And then right after they eat, they go back where they hide and they will never come out until next time you feed them. Especially in a tank like my 55, there is a lot of, you know, plants and uh, I put a stick in there so the rope fish can just wrap around the stick. Well, this is another issue people are encountering, which is that the rope fish always jump out their tank. Mine never tried to jump out the tank. I've got a big gap on the tank. Um, they never, I never see them attempt to 
jump out the tank. And uh, I did some research. I think the reason they're trying to jump out the tank is because first, the water quality is bad. They can breathe air, so they want to get some fresh air. And then accidentally, they jump out the tank. And uh, because they cannot hold on to anything, so that they can stick out their head above the water, so they would attempt to jump, just like people who can't swim who are trying to jump out the water to get some air. Which is why I realized if I put something in the tank they can hold on to, they will not try to jump anymore. Basically, you buy the fish, you put them in the tank, you probably only see them once a day for like five seconds, or sometimes even once a week. And the third con is also I find pretty annoying is that it's really hard to feed them, at least based on my experience in this 55 gallon tank. I have to target feed them because if I put flakes, have um, Congo tetras and uh, some other smaller fish as well as those three big uh, uh, South American cichlids, they will eat all the flakes before the, um, before the rope fish actually realized that, that there was food in the tank. And because they're really slow swimmer, there is no way they can compete with regular shape fish in terms of speed and uh, agility. What I usually do is uh, put a big sinking waver just right above where they're hiding. So the waver will just slowly drop to where they're hiding on the leaf. They smell it and then they will just snatch it. But uh, you have to be really careful. I've had these two rope fish quite a long time. They're still quite I would say shy. They are actually scared of me, unlike any other fish in the tank. So they freak out easily. Don't recommend you to get a rope fish because first of all, it's really hard to feed them and uh, they hide all the time. Just because it's hard to feed them and you don't see them. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to spend like $60 and uh, just able to see them once a day for five seconds. Again, everything I said was based on my personal experience. People might have different experience dealing with them. You're welcome to share your you know, experience with us in the comment section. Yeah, I think I actually, I should have emphasized how annoying it was when we first got this rope fish because we read um, online, people were complaining about what a jumper they are. And so for the first couple months, we were so anxious at night, especially when we hear some splashing sound in the tank. We would just get up and check on the rope fish, make sure we see the rope fish in the tank, and then we go back to sleep. So it's actually a lot of headache. Mine didn't jump, maybe it's just because the special structure, all the things I put in the tank, my tank is fairly clean and uh, you don't want to wake up next day and see a dead rope fish on the floor. It might freak out. So again, I just want to say it's, I don't think it's worthy to get a rope fish. If you like them, you can just go to the fish store and take a peek at them because fish store will always keep them in a bare bottom tank. So you can see them moving all the time. But once you put them in your tank, things might get totally different. It's not worthy. Anyway, that's all my thoughts on rope fish. Hope you guys have a good day.